Okay, I'm making this video to show you how to, uh, if you have the Air 9 on your iPod Touch when you try restoring it. Uh, this is what I did. I've spent the last two days looking at stuff and trying to fix this. And I found this website on Apple. And you can kind of see, it kind of tells you what to do. Uh, it says, learn how to cleanly install i uh cleanly uninstall itunes quicktime and other essential software components from your windows vista or windows 7 pc because uh that's that's what i have can't really see it that good there but uh then you have to go to the control panel so go to the control panel then uninstall programs then you should do them in this way i will leave the link to this website so you can look at the instructions then it's iTunes and you want to go in the order that it's on there too so iTunes you want to uninstall that and you want to uninstall QuickTime you want to uninstall the Apple software uh, update the A Apple mobile device support the Bonjour and the whatchamacallit Apple application support uh, once you do that, then you want to restart your computer. Then to check and make sure that all those are off of there, you can go back to here and it just kind of tells you what to do again if you want to just follow this, but I'm just basically telling you. Uh, you go back, this time you go to here, then where you saved all of them, with, which is basically your local disk C. Uh, then you go down to comp uh, where it says computer programs or I mean your programs file then you can look here can't really see it that good but uh, you go down there find like if it said iPod or iTunes on there again you'd find it but normally it's not on there if you did what I told you the first time then uh, delete all those then uh, once you're done deleting those uh, I don't know if this will make a difference but I also went to this website uh, you can't really see it that good because of the camera but I'll leave a link to it to the right and you basically can download the firmware for your iPod for free and I downloaded the iPod Touch 2G 3.1.2 that uh, slash 7D11 I download that it takes about six minutes to do it. Uh, say it wherever you want. Then once you have all this done and you reinstall iTunes, you want to go to your iTunes account. Uh, if I can ever find it, here we go. Sorry about the background. We just got back from Texas about a week ago. My brother put it on there. Uh, I'll hook up my iPod. I literally just got this fixed about half an hour, like 10-15 minutes ago. Want to make this video to show you guys while it's still fresh in my head for other people with Air 9. Oh, and you want to put it in DFU mode. If you don't know how to do that, all you have to do is hold the top button and the home button for about 10 seconds. Home both together at the same time. Uh, for about 10 seconds then when the 10 seconds is done let go sorry let go of the top button but keep holding down on the home button for another eight seconds then it'll come up in iTunes as restore then when you go to restore I uh, the iPod you wanna okay sorry I had a uh, I just hooked up my iPod but when yours is in DFU mode the screen should be completely black when you have it plugged into your computer but uh, you want to have the it hooked up to the back to the back not the front of the computer you want to hook it up to the back back there and uh, then when you get to this screen you'll when you push restore you want to push shift at the same time as it so uh, Okay, then when you push restore, you want to push shift at the same exact time so you get this screen. Then it should already be at the spot where uh, you downloaded the firmware. So then all you have to do is 
click on the firmware, you click on it. I'm not going to click on it because I already did it to mine. Then uh, you basically just wait for your iPod to be restored. Uh, this isn't the best. Well, like, I didn't do it that good. Like, I could explain it better if you need better explaining. Send me a message and I can send you more info. And uh, just send messages if you have any questions. It should all work. I, I've done it to mine, so I know this works. For iPods with Air Message 9, it could work for other ones. Uh, thanks. Thanks for watching. Hope I hope this helped.